Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see how we can synchronize simulation animation results to actual footage of a test, for example. So here I have this dummy model which crashes and then the airbag deploys. It has a hypergraph window with the acceleration of the lower torso, upper torso and the head of the dummy and also I have a video footage of an actual test. So let's see how that looks like. We have the video already synchronized, but how do you get this to work? Well, let's start by creating a new, new page, which we can also call that linear acceleration. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do here is to bring in the simulation animation results, which is this one. You can simply drag and drop that into Hyperview. I'll reorient this with the right orientation. I don't even need to hide these components because they are with no thickness, so they will just vanish. And I can review the animation. Second, I'll make this a three page window layout, three window page layout. And on the top one, change that to hypergraph, line chart, and bring the linear acceleration results file, which contains the chart data from this one simulation. I'll request all three and the resultant acceleration for them. Say plot. And as a last step, I'll bring in the media. For media, I'll use media view. Now that it's loaded, I can import new files by clicking on the folder icon or simply just like we, we did for the other ones, dragging the video file. In this one here and actually I think what will look better is it if I change the window layout to this one so that the media is on the bottom right here and if I animate as is you can see that first I get the simulation animation and then when it's done I get the actual footage running so how do we get this to be synchronized well we need two common events for this one example, we are going to use the airbag deployment. The first event will be the airbag deployment and the second one will be the when the dummy bounces off the airbag. Okay. To synchronize, we can access the time scales option which is available through here in the animation settings. You can click on the time scales tool will bring up the synchronized window animation or from the tools menu I have synchronized animation it doesn't actually matter which one you you trigger the tool from okay we have a couple of methods I prefer using the slider bar but you can also use the scale offsets then you need to set a factor that will multiply the current time the current duration of your simulation or video footage to match both of them. I think that using the slider bar is a little bit more intuitive, so let's go with that one. And as I said, we need two events, two common events between the, the animation and the video. That would be the airbag deployment, which I can use the slider bar right here to see when that happens. So when I approach current time 1.013 and I skip frame by frame by clicking on this icon, I can see that from 0.17 and then 0.18, that's when the airbag deploys. So this will be my event A or time A for both window 1 and 2, which is the simulation animation and its graph. So 
called lock time A for both of them. And now I need the equivalent event for the video. So I'll just slide that up here and see when the airbag deployment happens for the AVI file. I can see that they happen somewhere around this point. Let me go back frame by frame and I see that the airbag has not been deployed yet. But then from 1.6 to 1.8, sorry, 1.7, that's when the airbag deploys. So this would be time A as well. Once we have locked those, I'm going to look for another common event between the two, the two files, and that will be the bounce off the dummy. Let's see when the dummy bounces off the airbag. So it hits the airbag bounces off and hits the seat in point 15 or 0 0.149. Let's make that the time B. And for the video, we just have to slide it, see when it hits, and then the first bounce off, and the seat is propelled backwards. And this will be our time, our time B. So once I do that and I hit apply, I can reset to the start. And when I play it, then they are synchronized. Of course, it's not a perfect one-to-one -one match because in this case, the simulation was is not a actual correlation of this video but if you do have that then definitely it will look more like a one-to-one -one correspondence okay. thank you for watching see you on the next one